the reveal of the iPhone 6 is imminent as Apple announces a new conference for September the 9th with many rumoured product reveals said to be featured. So what might Apple debut and how likely is it that we will see the iPhone 6 and the iWatch? The first rumoured item is both the iPhone 6 4.7 and 5.5 inch models. These two are almost certainly going to be revealed at the event. Earlier this week, a video showing an alleged iPhone 6 showed the design of the smartphone, with rounded edges and, surprisingly, no sapphire screen. Whether or not the smartphone may have been faked, or an early beta model was revealed, there is certainly a consensus on how the new iPhones will look like. The two models to be released will be the 4.7 and 5.5 inch models. The price for the new iPhones is expected to be around $1,000. The reason for this is due to the larger screens, better hardware, and also because the iPhone 5S's 16GB model had a cost of $869 upon release. The release date is expected to be around 10 days after the conference, on the 19th of September this year. It may also be that Apple will release the 4.7 inch model as the cheaper model, and the 5.5 inch model as the higher end one, similar to the iPhone 5C and 5S versions last year. Features of the new iPhone which are likely to be included include soft tapered edges, similar to that of the iPad, replacing the current sharper edges seen in previous models. iOS 8 is expected to replace iOS 7 in the new smartphones, as the beta was previewed earlier this year and is now very likely to be implemented in the new phones. At this point, possible speculated features include sapphire screens, which are said to be extremely strong and scratch resistant. The secrecy Apple surrounds around its new products means that this feature will not be known as to whether or not it will be included until the new iPhone is revealed. 128GB is also speculated to be a feature, but larger memory sizes is always speculated every year, and Apple seems to place more emphasis on style, software, and performance over memory storage. Along with the iPhone 6, the long-awaited iWatch may or may not debut this year but it is very likely that whether it does or doesn't, it would not be released publicly until the first half of next year, putting a further delay in the sale of the iWatch. So what features would you like to see in the new iPhone 6? Is it something you'd consider buying? Leave a comment below with your thoughts.